Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Sky Derelicts. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we explore Onkul. And uh, not a lot left to explore, but we still have to explore. And uh, I was actually looking at my mission log and all that sort of stuff, uh, and I sort of forgot about that uh, and uh, may have screwed something up. I don't really know, because we need uh, to collect three intact team model janitor robot parts. Uh, and uh, these are, I'm on my way to do that, and they got correctly marked as, um, as quest items. But not so much the, uh, the, the, the robot heads, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about that. We've been looking for new slaves that are alive. Yes, let's do this thing. So, we got Banshee right off the bat. Let's see what she has over here. We got Dirty Punch, we could do that. Uh, that would be actually quite good, probably, for here, for this one. This initiative turn debuff is nice. Let's go with a dirty punch here. Let's do this thing. And that's a stun. Was that? Hmm. Nice. Oh, and she's energized. I didn't even pay attention to that. I probably should have. Uh, it's a critical hit chance. We got a heavy strike. Oh, look at that. It does show a chance to stun. So that is sort of not necessarily what I want. Because it is wasting the stun. Okay. Then goes the slaver and doesn't. Uh, we got a little bit of a pacify and probably want that. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we have you now with a bash. That's going to do minus initiative, which is not really that necessary. Let's go with a single hit. It's interesting that it says 10 damage over here. I, don't, I think the 10 damage that it shows over here is already the damage that it's actually going to do. Uh, we got a smoke trap that I probably don't need. Craft supply. Let's go ahead and do that. We got a bash. It's for initiative. We got some radiation. Nope, that's not necessary. Let's go with that over here. Wait, what? What? No, this. Oh, you can't... Like... Yeah, it's fine. So that's gonna be a perfect battle, I would assume. Oh, and she's energized as well. Oh, boy. Uh, self-recharge? That's not ne ne needed. Let's go with this. And that didn't stun, so there it is. Not too shabby, and he's pacified. What? We'll continuously attack... Will continuously... Oh, he's continuously attacked by an enemy. Huh. So, you're... What, what, what's the benefit of that? Oh, I know what it is. It's if there's many people, he orders the other... Uh, everybody to attack that. Okay, that's pretty cool. I could do a hard reset, which I will do. Uh, let's get you right there. And I will do this. Just because. Just to show you that I'm not I'm not getting any of that. Um, so we have you over here. There it is. And you're not energized. But you go next. We have a single strike that's going to be a kill. Interesting that it showed 10. It, it's I'm not really sure. We got a power glove over here. Let's take all of that. And uh, let's go into the inventory again. Uh, and let's see what we can use that for. So that's that one. That's a level one uh, six damage. This one is a level one six damage. Heavy strike, two heavy strikes and one bash. This adds. To be fair, I prefer, yeah the, the heavy strikes are really nice. So that's gonna go away because nobody cares for that. Moving on. No, I need to the scanner. Thank you. Uh, moving on. We need to go up there. Search. Oh, light range weapon. That sucks. Uh, broken energy cell and a destroyed mod. So, yeah, some some stuff, anyway. So let's go this way. Hopefully we'll have enough energy to return. We should. Uh, okay, let's get a scan. Ooh. Yeah, we should have enough energy. Right? Yeah. You find a functional console. It's waiting your command. Yeah, recharge energy. Thank you very much. Uh, and then I scan the surroundings just for good measure and leave. Uh, good. And then we have two enemies, hopefully wormlings. Hmm. A giant construct of metal and flesh. Hmm. Let's try. Let's, cap let's try downloading data first. You try to download the data, but accidentally trigger a sequence that activates the guarding construct. Well, uh, hopefully the data is not destroyed because we are going to fight this guy. So this is. Cybernet. I don't know. I don't really know if it's. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, let's see. You got a dirty punch. That's gonna add chance to hit, uh, or chance to miss. I'm gonna go with this one. Self recharge craft supply. 
A dirty punch. Let's go with another dirty punch over here. And uh, let's get that right there. There you go. Doesn't seem like... No, it always applies that. Okay. That's a miss. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Uh, we got a scatter shot, explosive grenades. That's really not necessary. Let's go with the scatter shot. It's the best thing I can do right now. And that was a critical. It's good stuff. Uh, Heyman is now going with a provoking strike. Okay. That's a shield. That's what activated, I think. Uh, so we got a dirty punch with an aimed strike. Radiation shot does a lot of damage, actually. So that applies. Oh, it doesn't stack. Oh, that hit. Fist to the face. Wasn't too bad. Adrenaline booster. Definitely. And now energize. What is that over there? Damage received from plagues. That's bad. Uh, that's that's bad. Let's get a one of that. And oh, that's a kill. Hopefully we get the data. I think we do because I think this is what happened in the first uh, in the first time we did it. With the console's guardian destroyed, you're free to download the data. Let's do that. And there it is. Where am I right now? Is it over there? Yeah, I can't do anything here. So we got the main mission completed. Gotcha. Over here, we got some search thing, and we have scrap electronics. Over there, we have another search, and we have a destroyed weapon. Not really, really being all that lucky as we were at the beginning, but I'm okay with that. And over here, we have a burnt-out superconductor array, and everything is good. It's basically, the ship is done. Uh, I don't know if I need to go over there to Salome. I think I concluded our mission already. Let's look at our mission log over here. So we have the Wormlings thing, and I have the, uh, the heads. I could swear I had gotten one last episode. Uh, report back to the sub-governor, and this is the other, uh, derelict. Let's close the PDA. Let's return to the station and be rich. So, first off, let's go in here. Don't have any payments yet. I have the mercs, but that doesn't matter. I got the research station, but I'm not going to mess with that for right now because we don't have money. Let's go to the station hall over here. Tell the uh, sub-governor about the good news. And uh, he says the same things as before. Any news regarding the data? Researchers have managed to uncover the location of a new group of derelicts. Gotcha. Um... I'll see you later. Gotcha. Bye. Okay. Uh, now for here. If I just sell all the junk, and also sell these, I'll be rich. I'll recharge that. I could buy these. Are they good? They are. They're higher level anyway. Look at that. It's not that expensive. Razor Ned, we got other things. They don't seem to have more than two things, though, so I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, somebody told me in the comments that it's not really worth it to uh, to buy those upgrades. These, of course, I do like, but I'm very poor right now, so let's not mess with that. So, have we visited... So, we came from Onkul. We haven't visited Absolution yet. And we found the data already. That, was that lucky? Or did I just really screw it up the first time around? I'm going to visit it, all of them because, yeah, let's open the PDA. Yeah, we haven't. Okay, this is good. Let's go. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Scan. Okay, that's, that's really worth it. Okay, can I go there with a cheap note? Okay. I got a little bit of a shield core mod. That's really nice. The rest of the stuff is fine. Let's open the PDA and go into the inventory here. Uh, shield core mod, that would be for Jimenez, and she gets uh, extra evasion. It's really nice. Apparently you can get your evasion really, really high later on in the game. Uh, okay, this is a pretty straightforward part. We have a data pad over here. You can't see dark things in space. A piece of dark metal that doesn't possess any source of heat is practically invisible. Yeah, uh, you can go ahead and pause if you want to read all of that. Um, it. What am I... Uh, in regards to science fiction, I'm going to do a little bit of a scan here. In regards to science fiction, that's perfect. Uh, my favorite thing is when, uh, like, it gives a different... It gives, it gives a, a fundamentally different perspective 
Uh, that's a 10% chance to stun, right? Yes. Let's go with it. Uh, it gives a different perspective on reality. Uh, not in this... But basically... I should have taken a card. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Hmm. It's a little bit of a puncture there. Basically, a lot of science fiction just uh, contents itself with... Uh, adrenaline booster right there. With... Um, let's get a provoking taunt on you. Uh, with making normal day-to-day -day, uh, problems exist in a sci-fi environment. And that really, I, f I find to be meh. Absolutely meh. Uh, we got a dirty punch. Let's go with that. We had a dirty punch already. Oh, and she's energized. Oh, this is great. And a stun. That was fantastic. Um, oh, she's not energized anymore. Oh, she's energized because of that that thing. Or the, yeah, of course. That's how that works. She's got a pacify. And I'm going to do that for you. Uh, and my favorite... My favorite animated series is uh, Planets, and it's what's known as hard sci-fi. There's other, there's other fiction, of course, with that that uh, attitude. Let's see, do, didn't we have a, like a grenade or something? It's another. It's somebody else. Okay, let's go with a heavy strike here and get a kill. There it is. Uh, and it's called what's called hard sci-fi because it just. Uh, yeah, everything is good. Explosive grenade, that's the one. Uh, I want this one. Because it just deals with the reality of space travel and the problems like... Oh, this is interesting. Uh, problems with, like, uh, cancer from radiation exposure, uh, the navigation in a gra gravitationless... Gravitationless? That's gravityless? Zero gravity. I suppose that's just simple enough, isn't it? Uh, let's see, shields recharge. Let's go with that heavy strike over here. Um, aimed shot, yes. Uh, dealing with, you know, maneuvering when you don't have gravity. The neces the very premise of the show. Damn those punctures. The very pr no, it wasn't. I don't know if it was. Uh, the very premise of the show is uh, about collecting space junk, basically, and that's why I, I remembered because of that little data pad. And uh, that's a, that's a that's a real problem. Space junk basically is not seen, and and what we see is not visible, I should say, to the naked eye. Uh, let's see, someone called the Obadiah. I found this looking glass on a dead soldier. It's useless when it gets dark. Oh yeah, we read that before. Ooh, heavy melee level three. That's nice. And a weapon tool right there. Ooh, we got some really amazing stuff out of this. That's, that's fantastic. Um, let's see, that's a level two eight damage. I'll continue with my rant in a little bit. It's a level 3, 10 damage. What am I giving up here? So we got a little bit of bashes. And this is just single strike. Yeah, that is a considerable uh, improvement. And I can't use these for anybody else, right? No, okay. Let's see. So I got uh, spread ranged weapon mod. That's pretty... N oh, minus damage spread. That's good. I suppose. I can't wear that. It's a weapon tool mod. Oh, it's for here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and then this would not be for you, because you don't have spread on that. It is a spread ranged weapon mod, and that's for that. Perfect. It also gives a scatter shot, which is weird. Reduces spread, but also gives you a scatter shot. It's fine. Um, and basically, in space, what we usually see. Scavenger. Yes, you, you with that big gun. I, Chapeau, wish to inquire you about something of great importance. He has a different face, doesn't he? Uh, but he's the same one that had... B that we... Uh, yeah, that we had before. Uh, because the I need to collect some things. Gotcha. See you later, Chapeau. Um, and basically, what we see like in, in, in science fiction movies... Or a lot of science fiction movies... Great, I'm gonna get their intestines. Um, is... Aw... Oh, we got a craft supply here. Don't have a grenade. Well, the smoke trap could be a thing. Let's go with this. Uh, hmm, that's kill. Uh, so yeah, you see like ships maneuvering like very quickly in space, and just you can see 
with your eyes, you can see the, uh, or in the movie, I guess, but with, still with your eyes, you can see the other ships, and it's sort of fighting. And never mind that the lasers don't travel at light speed, which is completely unrealistic, of course. Um, but that's not really even the big problem, because space combat would be all about... There it is, we got that mission complete. Uh, all this from Shelly, I remember that. Um, I think I remember that. Did I keep the things? Yes, I do. I got that. Um, yes, yeah, space combat would be... You wouldn't see anything. It would be all radars and sensors, because, like... If, if a, a ship is more than five kilometers away, and five kilometers is nothing. Nothing. Let's depends on the size of the ship, of course. The size of the ship. But five kilometers is nothing in space. That you would just wouldn't be able to see them, because our angular vision is not good enough. And we got ourselves nothing too important there. Um, so, it's just like... One of, one of the first things... Let's recharge the end. There it is. Perfect. Uh, one of the first things that... Uh, that planet's show actually deals with is um, what happens before the story starts and basically it's space travel and there's junk going around in space and uh, one uh, and it's going around at like 5,000 kilometers an hour or something like completely ridiculous and a screw a single screw got uh, hit a window of a, a spacecraft that's uh, let's see Let's go with a heavy strike over here, try to bring this guy down. And that was really just how this, the, the show takes... No, that's not for here. Uh, how the sh uh, initiative... Oh, that's nice. How the show takes reality so seriously, because it's just a simple... What is that over there? Mine is initiative. Yeah, let's not go there. It's a simple screw, and it just changes history, basically, in that show. Because the... It basically destroyed, destroyed the spacecraft, uh, as it would, because it's like being shot with a bullet at extreme amounts of speed, and the energy is enormous. Uh, and that was just that really impressed me. So, all of that because they said in space a black thing can't be seen. In space, nothing can be seen. Just nothing. Nothing can be seen. Let's go with the shingle. Shingle. That's a thing. Isn't that money? I'm not sure. Let's go with a single shot over there. Could have done it a different way, I suppose. Uh, recharge. Adrenaline booster right there. And now let's see what happens. Six health. Got through the shield. It's okay. Oh. Okay, detect vulnerabilities then. Okay, what's that for? I need to see what that one is for. Uh, dirty punch. Ooh. That's what the detect, detect vulnerabilities is all about. Uh, we got ourselves a shield core, an actual shield core, and a weapon tool mod. That's really nice. Let's look at our inventory over here. So can I see it over here? It's not you. It's Jimenez. Uh, electric amp. Amplify ranged attack. 50% weapon damage against shields. If shields depleted, stun for one turn. That's really nice, but that's not what I need. This is a power up. Amplify attack by plus two. There's a delay though. Delay one. I'm not really sure how that works. The delay. This one is not really necessary. I don't think anyone has a weapon tool though. Anyone else has a weapon tool. Uh, but there it is. Uh, and then we have a shield core. I have a shield, maximum shields of... Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better. More evasion, more maximum shields. Self-recharge. Uh, that's good enough. Because... Um, this one is a pretty nice, a pretty nice one as well. That's self-recharge. That's a recharge shield on others. She is the one that has tech, so I'm going to keep that one right there. Okay, close PDA. Uh, nope, don't close PDA. Go into the scanner. And let's continue. So we have enemies up here, but I don't think they are enemies. Because otherwise it would be red, I suppose. You spot a strange fungus growing under a pile of debris. Let's take some samples. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, everything is good. Our medical expertise did what we had to do. So, is it over there? Or is it over here? It's Chapeau. Let's go up there. I don't know that I should have done this, but... Because, you know, I might not find uh, another landing zone. Okay, and that is complete, concluded. 
And that's very nice. Let's keep going. I also have the energy cells, so I can use them. Okay. We have ourselves a scavenging tool mod, which is lovely. Uh, let's not go there. Inventory. And that is for you. Scavenging toolkit. That right there goes over here. So this adds 14% recycle, which is nice. Uh, a shoker trap and a spike trap. Those are two different traps that I haven't seen yet. Does 15 damage to shields interrupt and stun for one turn? Is, does that apply to us? Traps are set to the field and stay in play until end of combat or triggered. They are triggered by enemy melee attackers and then apply their described effects. Oh, that's really nice. It's only melee attackers, though, which would make some sense, yeah. The 10 base damage, 75% puncture. So this one over here is just the shields. That's interesting. And it's not a choker. Oh, a choker trap. It's a... Uh, choker doesn't even mean anything. It's a choker trap. I just misread it. So from here, let's scan. That is saving me energy. Because I don't need to go up there or anything. Let's keep going. And we have people who want to defile me. Sir, I will not allow such things. Oh, uh, we got a stun right away. Banshee got stun. That sucks. Power bait. What? Oh, you're going down first. His channeling. Can I can I see what you have, sir? Excuse me. I mm, that's you. Channeling. 20% damage resistance. Okay, so I'm not shooting him. I could neutral uh, neutralize him. Oh, you can't exit this? Huh. Pressing escape there doesn't do anything. What is that? Oh, I didn't see that before. Nice. So we got to pacify. Uh, let's pacify you. And you weren't energized, which is a shame. Let's provoke you in the face. And you are now going to do seven damage, but no stun. Oh, they're drawing cards. That's not nice. Uh, fortunately, we got... Basically, we're only fighting one of them with two people. Uh, we got a smoke trap. Don't need that. We got a bash. Uh, dirty punch. That's nice. Let's go with it. Okay. And that was recycled. Uh, we got another pacify over here. Did you lose all of your shield? What happened with your shields? Hmm. It's got a power up. We're gonna need to add some cards to you. Okay. It's twice the damage, so it's nice. Uh, smoke trap, dirty punch, heavy strike. Let's get you right there. And then you are pacified. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay, uh, that energizes. Let's go with that. I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna. Yeah. So boost. Draws two cards. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, there it is. 15 damage. That's not enough. What is that? Uh, that's for ranged weapons. Let's see if that works. I don't think so, but... Oh, it doesn't. She can't use that. Okay. Uh, shields? Detect vulnerabilities. Oh, yeah, that's better. And then a single strike. That's, that's a kill. Oh, my God. Was that a critical? Oh, why doesn't count? Well, it, it it's fine. It's definitely fine. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, so it does, the, the times two doesn't show up. Scatter shot, hard reset, adrenaline booster. Let's get you to have the adrenaline booster over here. I'm thinking the scavenger is better a, a better fighter than the brawler, to be honest, or at least to our uh, than our brawler. Uh, you're energized, so that's good. Let's get a dirty punch. Let's get a single shot right there. Uh, and then you have a provo provoking strike. Yeah, the, I think I think that's the bonus of uh, of the brawler is just being able to provoke them and um, and just sort of serve as the main damage taker. That's not gonna do anything. What is he doing? Um, spike trap. Yep. Yeah. Let's go with that. Uh, we got a name shot. Let's go with that. And 
That was basically the same as the other one. That's a stun. No damage taken. Or no physical damage take taken. I could hard reset. No, that's not necessary. Because I have Banshee who goes next. And she has radiation shot, and that's all I need. Perfect. Great. Okay. Now, we have one melee weapon mod. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, we have, because we got cards and things. Uh, and we have ourselves a melee, another, two melee weapon mods. We are almost leveling up as well. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, definitely. Holy crap. Holy crap, we're talking about good things in here. Okay, uh, let's go into the scanner to continue. Let's actually scan. Oh, this is lovely. We're running low on energy. Yes, we are, but we have just found the exit, so that is also pretty good. Let's go over there first. That enemy doesn't want to mess with us. Uh, we have our destroyed mod. And then let's see, hope that the enemy comes back down. Well, maybe not. New landing zone indeed. Let's return to the station and end the episode here as well because we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Deep Sky Derelict. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.